Hello there, and welcome to this week's indie game review for a game called Bright Paw. Picture this, a murder mystery that you have to find the killer while progressing through a lot of levels filled with murderous robots and lasers. Sounds like fun, right? Imagine yourself doing all this like this. Well, not this one exactly, because that is our family cat, but you get the picture, right? So, while I let this cat, hey, here again, not doing that. While I let the cat out, how about you check this week's review? As you might have figured out from the intro, we play as Theo, the cat of the family. And as we are having a chill tutorial dream about how to navigate the world and other feline matters, we are awakened by the sound of gunshots. Aided by the narrator, we are then presented with the challenge to find out why our owners were murdered and by who. And before you get your hopes up that we are going to do this in the way like the mighty battle cat in He-Man, think more fluffy cringer from the same series. And what really caught my attention is their beautiful game art over at Steam. It looked like the kind of version of a Cheshire cat from the Alice in Wonderland movie. But enough about that, let's talk about the gameplay. Brightpaw is a puzzle adventure game with over 70 levels to get through and if you are an escape room lover this could be the most fun you have had in a while. At the start of every level you are presented with your movement cards to navigate your feline hero through all the hazards to solve the puzzle. If you hover the cards you see your cat's expected movement during that turn and when you move all the other hazards like rogue robots make their moves. Sounds simple, right? It's pretty simple, at least most of the levels are, but to keep you focused the game introduces some special skills later on that with a bit of complexity to each level you need to use most of them. Death is always pre present while trying to navigate around robots and lasers, but to amend this you are equipped with a nifty rewind button. The mechanic itself is nothing new in video games, if you played Life is Strange or maybe the more unknown Mousecraft, you will know how it works. But if this is the first time you hear about this feature, let me give you a short explanation. When you make a move on the level of the game, and you might instantly regret it because of, let's say, I don't know, you stepped into the path of a horrific laser and end up dead. Instead of reloading the whole level, you can press rewind for one turn or multiple after one another and have another try. It's also really useful when you pick the wrong path for a level. The soundtrack of the game is in some parts a perfect filler to match the level and story and the song Escape by Will Bedford featuring Faze is a beautiful song to listen to. Be sure to check out that song. The voice acting is really good for an indie game and it basically has to since it's the narrator that is heard throughout the game. It gives clear instructions and if we don't move fast enough it gets impatient. Or adding some dramatic flair to a calm train ride. Bright Pause is a fun and fresh take on the puzzle genre. The graphics are solid and you quickly get used to zooming in and out and rotating the map. And even if you think that the levels can be a bit similar or sometimes a bit too easy to solve, it serves as a way to further enhance the story of the game. In each room there are a set number of collectibles to find that have pieces of information to add to the story as you play the game. It's said to be 180 of them for you to find. And if you did not find all on your first playthrough, you can revisit specific levels and amend that fairly easy. So there is room for replayability. Because the game is not just about finding the culprit to this horrific act of murder, it's a story about hopes, dreams, building a family and having a dream being denied by the government. And making new friends along the way. Did he 
just uh, dis disregarding the danger, Daz bravely leapt into the chasm to aid his feline companion. Surely he'd be fine. It has some more things for you to find out for yourself. So with that being said, it's time to wrap up things as you get to witness the cutest loading screen of all. I'm Dan and it's been a pleasure showing you Brightpaw. If you want to find out more about the game, please visit their Steam page. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you want to know more about my content, be sure to check out my channel out and hit that subscribe button to not miss the next upload. Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome.